Here's how to generate images on ChatGPT Mobile. Now, even if you're on the free ChatGPT plan, you can actually generate two images for free per day directly within ChatGPT. All you need to do for that is to actually come here to the prompt field and then just enter something like create an image of a cute cat and then press on the send button right here. ChatGPT will then automatically create that image for you. And this is how it looks like. Pretty cute, right? But as I mentioned earlier on, on the free plan, you can only create two images per day. Sometimes though, it might allow you to create three images. But let's be honest here, this is still not enough in most use cases, right? This is the second image that I actually created on this free ChatGPT account right here. At the bottom, we now get this message. You've reached your image creation limit. Upgrow to ChatGPT Plus or try again tomorrow after 3.28. So with that said, to generate more images per day, to do so, you can simply tap here where it says ChatGPT Plus. And you can then upgrade to ChatGPT Plus right here. It costs you $20 per month. I personally do use Plus, and I think it's a pretty awesome deal for 20 bucks per month. If you do decide to update to ChatGPT Plus, you can then generate a maximum of 50 images per day instead of just two. By the way, if you would like to save an image that you generated with ChatGPT Mobile, all you need to do is to tap on it. And then in the bottom left corner of the screen, tap on save. This will save the image onto your mobile phone. And in case you're using an iPhone like I do here, you will then also find this image in your camera roll. Now let me quickly change to my ChatGPT Plus account so that I can show you a few more things about generating images on ChatGPT Mobile. We are now in my ChatGPT Plus account. So to generate an image now, once again, we will come down here to the prompt field, which is tap once here. And to create an image now, we can simply enter the desired prompt. Now, depending on the prompt you use, the image that will be created by ChatGPT will look drastically different. So if you want to have something realistic, for example, we could write something like, create a photorealistic image of a beautiful woman. Then we just tap here on the arrow to confirm and let's see what we get. ChatGPT is now actually asking us for some more details because it seems to be unsure about what we're exactly looking for. So let's add these details. And there you go. The quality is actually great, but it doesn't really look like a real photo, does it? So let's try this again. And this time, let's enter the following prompt. Let's confirm. And there you go, we have another image. While this really looks great, it doesn't really look like a real photo, does it? So there are obviously certain limitations when generating images with ChatGPT. And while it excels in creating some styles, it actually lacks in creating other styles. So for example, if you would really like to have a photorealistic image, then this probably isn't going to cut it, is it? The quality looks good, but it's not really photorealistic, right? So it always depends on what you need. For a change, let's try a cartoon character. Looks pretty good to me. ChatGPT kinda nailed the cartoony look that we asked for. What about this? Logo is actually pretty nice in my opinion, but it kinda messed up the text right here. I guess it wanted to write company here, which would be like some sort of placeholder. But apart from that, the logo itself is pretty cool. So as you can see, image generation in ChatGPT Mobile is pretty versatile and it might satisfy your needs. However, if you're really looking for a professional AI image generator, in my opinion, there are better options out there for you to use. So if your main goal is to generate awesome looking images with AI, then spending $20 for ChatGPT Plus might be the wrong choice. If this is you, then I would actually recommend you to use some other software such as Ideogram or Midjourney. So let's see what we get when we try to generate the same type of image in Ideogram instead of ChatGPT. So once again, we enter our prompt right here, this time in the Ideogram application, and we tap on Generate. And this is one of the results, looks pretty amazing, right? Definitely much more photorealistic than the image that we've just seen in ChatGPT. And now let's do the same on Midjourney as well for a second. We actually have to do this in Discord because Midjourney currently doesn't have a dedicated mobile app. And here are the Midjourney results. So depending on the app that you're using, the results will be completely different. Also, just tiny nuances in your prompt can change everything. So if you remember correctly, in our prompt, we always use the word image. So maybe this was not the best way to get photorealistic results. Maybe we would get better results results if you just use photo instead. So these are all things to take into consideration. So before we wrap this up, let's try this prompt right here. A photo of a beautiful middle-aged woman with blonde hair and glasses. So we simply use photo instead of image. And these are our results now, pretty good. After all, it all comes down to experimentation and also to personal preference. In my opinion, Midjourney does really well with portraits. On top of that, whenever you're trying to create something that looks really, really artistic, 
then Midjourney is the way to go. Ideogram, on the other hand, is amazing with text. So whenever you want to create images with text overlays, then you should definitely give Ideogram a go. And ChatGPT, together with Dolly, is a pretty good all-rounder. It's also pretty good with cartoon graphics, and it actually understands pretty well what you are looking for, because it has more capabilities to truly understand your prompts. So you can tell it exactly what you need, and if it doesn't generate what you want, you can tell it exactly what it should change, and it will make these changes for you. You cannot really do that in Midjourney or Ideogram. And that's it guys. This is how you generate images on ChatGPT Mobile and also a short overview of other AI image generators that you can use on your mobile phone. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more ChatGPT and AI software tutorials. Have a good one, bye!